My name is Zach Rule and I'm the Director of Athletic Performance. Everything involved in the strength and conditioning around here at the college. The sports I specifically work with are football, volleyball, women's lacrosse, men's lacrosse, men's and women's soccer. I'm Victoria Hurt, head volleyball coach here at Benedictine College. My name is Claire Hansen. I'm the head women's lacrosse coach here at Benedictine College. I'm an alum of the college. I graduated in 2018 and had the pleasure of also playing here. My name is Chad Folsom. I'm the head women's basketball coach here at Benedictine College, and I've been here coaching now for 23 years. Hi, I'm Charlotte Keller, and I'm the assistant women's soccer coach here at Benedictine College. My favorite core memory with working with a, uh, a women's sport team is probably just recently that happened in the fall. Um, I was traveling with the women's volleyball to go to the national tournament for the first time in program history and I had a little initiation to where you had to do a karaoke song and I decided to pick Super Bass from Nicki Minaj. Absolutely killed it. You know, being the moment with the team of, of being so successful in their season, accomplishing them so much, just kind of being with them throughout their journey and kind of getting to that, you know, that pinnacle part that is the national tournament and just being part of that initiation process is truly a blessing and something I'll probably never forget throughout the rest of my life. There's a lot of them. I haven't been here that long. We've got a lot of memories, but uh, some that stick out. Um, maybe the first time we went to the NEI national tournament in 2006, um, we had a team that got there and actually hit a buzzer beater in the Sweet 16 and made it to the Elite Eight, and that was a pretty exciting moment. One of my favorite memories was actually this past season, we made program history, which was amazing. And something that I always wanted to do, uh, being a head coach, was make history and, be, and build a legacy here. Um, it was when we found out they made the national tournament. So that was really exciting for me, and the girls were really excited, and I loved the video of them when they finally found out. So yeah, that was my best moment here. Um, favorite memory coaching is probably just the huddles when we were winning the national championship in that national tournament. Um, just hearing the players and how connected they were and how committed they were and just wanted to win for the alumni who came before them, for the school, for each other, um, really powerful. One of my favorite memories from coaching here this year would be definitely when we beat the fifth ranked in the country, Columbia College, and made it to the beach for the first time in five years. Another time, I think back to 2016. Um, when uh, we took a, a women's basketball team here again to the national tournament. This time it was in Kansas City, which was really an awesome experience. And, uh, you know, we made it all the way to the final four. And to just have the following we had with the community, with the, the, the school, I mean, the, the place was packed. The fact it was in Kansas City. And uh, just to see uh, that team excel and, and get where they got and, and the support we had was, was really awesome. Well, I say the lesson I learned from, from coaching is patience. Um, the thing that, about training in my realm is, you know, delayed gratification. You know, the thing with, with training is, you know, you don't see the results right away. So having the patience to continue in, put forth good effort and hard work each and every day, uh, brick by brick, trying to get to something that may not be, you know, seen right away, but maybe seen down the road. And I think one thing that I taught myself is like patience to make sure that you continue to show up every day, be consistent, and then down the road, you'll bring the success of your consistency. Thing that I've learned through coaching and sports, always believe in the people around you. Just really invest in them. Even if it's hard to invest in, in people, you don't know where it's going to pay off. It always does to just believe in people. My biggest lesson of being a coach is the value of community. Being a player, you always think about yourself and it's very much about you. And as I've grown and become a coach, I just have valued community so much. And that's what the school is about, is community based and scholarship. And so I love the people around me. I love the people that I work with. I love this team and I love all the girls here. And so just being able to get to know them, build relationships and build that community that lasts a lifetime has been great. so great for me. So the lesson that I would teach, that I teach my athletes to instill in them as they carry on, you know, beyond athletics is some of the four pillars that I hold with my staff is Consistency, discipline, attitude, and effort. You know, the consistency, uh, show up every day, put in hard work. The discipline to do what's instructed of you on that given day, even if it may not be the, de the, the best day, um, but having the discipline to show up and continue to put forth great effort. Having the attitude to make every day a great day, no matter what's going on, and have the ability to show up with a positive attitude and make the best of where you're at. And the last one is just giving give great effort, whatever the circumstances, um, you know, finishing the job um, and make sure I put forth my best foot forward for that given day and that given moment wherever I'm at. Things I would hope that our players learn from being a women's basketball player here at Benedict College. You know, I want us to learn, number one, what it means to work hard. And if you have a dream, go for it. And what you got to do to get there, 
Um, also learn, you know, to be grateful for things that you have. Uh, and also I think to be a good teammate, you know, what it means to, to be there for, for someone else and, and to help those around you grow and become better people. I hope that they're learning that, you know, being a lead in all areas of their life, their hard work, their growth mindset and their work ethic are really going to come through in every single area of their life. And so taking those qualities and mentality into relationships and their work outside of the cross is something that I hope that they remember. So as a coach, one of the things I love to install in our players is that they are not volleyball players, but they play volleyball and their identity lies in more than just their sport. And so that's something I instill from day one, and it's something that I hope that they take with them in life, and that's something that they want to build on. The one thing I'd like my players to take away from it would be to be hardworking individuals. Good question there, too. I've, I've coached men, and I've also coached women, um, and I feel like uh, you know there, there are differences uh, for sure. What I really enjoy coaching women here is that, you know, number one, they want to be coached. You know, they want to be taught. They want to learn. you got to go about it a little differently, but I think the biggest thing is trying to build a family, a team that cares about each other on and off the court, um, and if you can get that kind of get chemistry and dynamic, I think the, they, they can reach their potential and succeed in everything they do. Um, I loved coaching girls just because of the relatability and being able to work in an environment that I've been in before, but from a coach perspective, and I feel like I can give back a lot from that perspective. I'm Christine Zendarsik. I play on the women's soccer team here. I'm number nine, and I play in the midfield. I'm Sophia Jurgensmeyer. My number is 14. Defense on the women's team. My favorite memory is probably this past season. We made it all the way to Sweet 16 in Orange Beach, Alabama. And that was such a good, empowering moment for all of us. Seeing the growth throughout the season and making it that far was really, really special. Probably first weekends that we were here, and it was my first year, we were doing like a work group camp. It was just like a long, hot day, and we ended up all going into the locker room and just like laying on the floor. We were so comfortable with each other, and immediately it felt like there was a community and there was a family and I just felt very welcome. I think the big thing with playing sports is learning how to balance your life, like having that aspect and then also being a student. It's like learning how to multitask and get everything done, but also like being present in the moment and everything that you do. I think lacrosse has definitely taught me discipline, the will to work, being able to do something every day and be consistent at it and have the effort and the energy to do it. Um, it's something that I'll take with me forever. I think just the relationship we have with each other, um, it's kind of different with, yeah, you have your classmates, but something special about your teammates because you're together during competition, through the highs and lows that you don't usually get with like classmates. One thing that we do is we shout out each other at the end of the practice. It's good as, as women and as athletes, like a support system on the team and like be able to lift each other up. Yeah, shout each other out and acknowledge each other's successes is super important um not just for like a good team but as a woman as well my name is madison zaccardo also known as red i played softball at benedictine and i graduated this past may in 2023 Hi, my name is Katie McDaniel, formerly Katie Miskin. I graduated Benedictine in 2018 and I played on the women's soccer team. Hi, I'm Natalie Wechter. I was number 21 on the women's cross team. I graduated in 2022. Um, currently, I am a college softball coach at Central Methodist University. I now live in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I work in finance. I am now a nurse in Philadelphia. My favorite memory from college would have to be every bus ride jam session. Um, my teammates and I would sing at the top of our lungs until we lost our voices. So my favorite memory from Benedictine was my senior year. We had just lost the national championship. The restaurant we happened to pick for dinner that night had karaoke. But instead of sitting and all of our sad feelings, we got up and we sang for probably two hours. And it was just such a fun way to end our season as a team all together. My favorite memory playing lacrosse was definitely any home warm game. Afterwards, we were just able to really hang out and watch the boys play and just really bask in the sunlight. These spring break trips, always being together in those little moments and goofing around, and those I think were some of the funnest memories. An important lesson I took away from being a college athlete is that God puts people in your life for a reason. Through the sports community, I was able to meet people that started as my teammates and ended as my family. And for that, I am forever grateful. 
Uh, the biggest lesson I would say I took away from playing sports in college was motivation and also a strong work ethic. I think once you graduate, you don't really have the opportunity to be challenged in your everyday life unless you're doing it yourself. I think that sports really helped me continue to challenge myself every day because I know I can improve. So women's sports made me the person that I am today and I could not imagine my life without it. So I'm so excited that all of you have chosen Benedict and chosen your respective sports. So good luck to all of you ladies in your upcoming season. Lastly, once a raven, always a raven.